WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny and very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. The only mix is the transports are up 59 points, trading out of 14,529. Otherwise, all the U.S. indices are trading south. The Dow's up 236.7 tenths percent, one and two tenths for the S&P. That's 54 points. The Nasdaq, one and six tenths, or 230 points. Russell, eight tenths, 15 points to the downside. You've got gold up 80 cents flat, uh, giving back. Uh, most of its gain, all of its gains, really, overnight. Trade down at 1946. Silver's up 15 pennies. 24.97 is the print there. Light we grew back four bucks and change. She's printing out at 94.1. Natural gas up 36 cents. Trading at 6.63. Let's go spend a little time. Take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini the upper left hand side. We can see that price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. Wonder if it will close below that today. The bottom of that profile is 44.52. The reason I say I wonder if it will close below that is because we still have that spot volatility below its 50-day exponential moving average. It does have more than a one-day rate of change above plus 10 percent, but that's something we deal with at the end of the trading session. So we've got a bit of divergence here. But if the S&P or the S&P, if the spot volatility did close above 24.18, that would then say, well. You should see a, a, a bit of a retracement or a pullback because the one-day rate of change. But closing above that 50-day is always ominous for the S&P 500, the ES Mini, as well. And that would suggest to move back to 4383. If you take a look at the NQ, uh, she's trading below the uh, the bottom of its daily profile. This is day number two. Looks like its price target is going to be the 13.405 to 13.868 level. U.S. dollar index trading higher above its uh, profile levels. Looks like it wants to continue to move higher. Lights we got, not lights we group, but Goldilocks. Back inside its daily profile, so attempting a breakout, and we can see that the the real breakout would require a close above the high from the trading day of March 24th. That high is 1972. If price can close above that, which it hasn't, uh, that would signal move up to the 2022 level out there. So right now you just have gold consolidating with inside its daily profile. Same thing for silver. That's between the 20. 2429 and 2516 levels lights you crew there's a new profile attempting to form i don't know that it'll take hold or not at the end of the day but right now price is trading below that at 9842 price is at 9402 and you've got uh, natural gas taking out its td9 count top from two days ago that suggests a strong momentum to move to the upside for natural gas 30-year treasury still hasn't formed a bottom or found a bottom and should continue to head lower folks stay tuned for the trader Z show but if you're off to start your monday have a magnificent one and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon take care